Lights go out. Malachi Black enters. And then Cody Rhodes makes his return alongside both Arn Anderson and Brandy Rhodes as Cody is in his evil Knievel getup. And Brandy, like, in a leotard just months after giving birth. So, I mean, incredibly brave woman. She she looked great. Yeah. Um, and Rhodes to the top starts next next week. I think that's a very interesting, like, timing. Considering, like, the crowd's feelings towards Cody Rhodes. Okay, so that's... The whole focus of this match is on the crowd very clearly turning on Cody... But I, I think, like, this this whole match felt designed around that. Like, you have Cody, before the match even begins, you're hearing the mixed reaction, and he is very clearly playing to it. Like, he is mouthing, okay. It's And this match was all structured around Cody being the being the subtle, if not not so subtle, heel at points. Yeah, I, I, I think this has been Cody for a long, long time. Like, I think he's fully aware that this crowd does not like him. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's 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 been the case for all like even before Malachi Black showed up here, but they keep dragging this out. They keep reverting him back to being, I guess, a default babyface. That I'm just curious, like, are they doing this because of the the reality show? Are they delaying like the full on heel turn, or are they just like because they are kind of teasing it, but they're not really? So I I don't really exactly know what to think. So it it begins and Black. Sends Cody out of rolling out of the ring and he does his backflip and just sits down. And they like it's a total babyface spot, and the crowd reacts in kind. And you can just see what is being constructed here. Brandy comes in to sit in front of Black and give the big fuck you as Cody jumps him. And this just gives the crowd like open season, like boo this man. And they played off of this. Cody comes off the top into a flying knee. They battle through the break. Cody takes a black mass, still nameless, and rolls to the ground. And he's selling like he is out cold. Black can't lift him. So he's just going to take the count out. But Cody rolls in before the count of 10. And then chop blocks the, the knee of Black, who misses in the turnbuckle with another knee. And Cody is focusing on the knee and the crowd boos as Cody continues to work it over. The crossroads get stopped and Alistair, Alistair, Malachi Black hits a spinning elbow and it resulted in this mark on the, on Cody's temple that you could see later. It looked like this elbow just hit him flush. It it was, uh, it was his turn. I mean, maybe he'll show up with the uh, face paint all over his face next week. There's another crossroads that gets blocked. Cody Cutter is hit. And then the crossroads is hit. Huge kick out by Black to the point Arn Anderson is on the apron, assuming the match is done. Arn then goes to climb around the post and he slips off the apron to the floor, causing referee Paul Turner to be distracted. Arn gets up onto the apron and Cody is Irish whipped into Arn, knocking him down a second time. And so, so Cody, so yeah. I, I have a feeling Arn wasn't supposed to slip there the first time. Like that made no sense because the distraction amounted to nothing for Cody. There was no point to do two Arn bumps. It yeah. seemed that like he was getting into position, and I thought the same. Like, did he legit slip and then knew his spot was coming up, and the spot was supposed to be Cody knocking into him in a weird way? Like, I, I'm not criticizing it's like it's very hard to think on your feet but it's like the spot was achieved where arn falls giving paul turner the out to be turning his back and cody just going into the next sequence where he's capitalizing off of this but obviously they needed the physicality with but that was cody really, hitting but, but that wasn't the spot they designed the spot they designed was Ar- uh cody or was it malachi bumping into arn and then cody going down to check on arn which is what you got ultimately was it, no 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 wasn't it Cody was was sent into Arn and Ar- and Cody sure. knocked Arn over I, yeah sure yeah that that I I forget who who bumped into Arn but the the idea was for Cody to go down and check on Arn to and then Arn just like attention. swats him away he's like fuck off well he was like go back to the match don't check on me um but I mean seeing the guy fall twice of course I would have ch- I would have checked on him too uh, <laughs> Arn you you you've taken more bumps tonight than you have in the last decade <laughs> holy shit. But I, I don't think he was supposed to fall that first time. I don't think so either, because uh, it made no sense for him to fall twice. Uh, so 
Cody is told, don't worry about me. He starts attacking Malachi and then nails Paul Turner, sending him away. And Black sprays Black Mist into the face of Cody and uses an inside cradle for the win, which is a real clever way if they're trying to keep Malachi Black as this heel. Although I think you're just fighting against the tide at this point. And this crowd was so happy to see Cody lose uh, that they didn't care that Malachi Black had to resort to Black Mist. I'm feeling like they're they're not really trying to like get people to boo Malachi Black. I think they're just going with this because they know he's cool. As long as as long as people like him enough to want to stick around to watch his matches, I don't think Tony Khan cares that much. Um, this was an interesting match to watch in execution because of the weird, very influx heel babyface dynamics with Cody Rhodes, uh, but also with the pretty strange finish i have to say i thought it kind of fell apart at the end with the even if arn flawlessly glided around the corner from apron to apron and executed i think i would have still disliked the finish i hate malachi black going from a win as dominant as his first match with cody in like a minute or two minutes to now having to resort to using mist and an arn anderson distraction in order to justifiably beat cody rhodes that i I wasn't a fan of. I think they've been booking Malachi Black incredibly strong up until this point. And I thought this should have also needed, this also needed to be a, a dominant win. Um, at least more dominant than maybe Mist would, would entail. Well, what's the Mist going to do to Cody now? Is that going to uh, send him into a dark place? Is he blind? It'll turn him into Stardust. Ooh. And the space. 